So this is actually a concept that I consider that most students will actually know. But <laughs> it could be that uh, they might not actually remember in the meantime. All right. So we are looking at the indications for blood transfusion. Okay. Indications for blood transfusion is more of like, why would somebody need blood transfusion? Okay. Uh, indications for blood transfusion. Why would somebody need blood transfusion? So first of all, what is a blood transfusion? All right. Uh, a blood transfusion is a procedure in which donated blood or certain components of blood are put into another person's body. Okay, so donated blood, it could be whole blood, it could be other components of blood like plasma concentrate, it could be crowd precipitates, it could be clotting factors concentrate, all right? So you take it from donor, you put it into the recipient. Okay, so what are the indications? What type of people will need blood transfusion? If the person has an acute blood loss, okay, they need blood transfusion. An acute blood loss could be that what they had trauma, they had an operative what hemorrhage, okay, all these need blood transfusion. Then also in exchange blood transfusion exchange blood transfusion okay uh, sorry okay this was this is not a point on its own this is also part of what acute blood loss okay then if the person also has chronic anemia with symptoms you know chronic anemia blood cells are not being formed properly they are some are being formed properly but not with the proper shape okay so there's also what increased destruction of cells and all those crises. So you might just want to what be transfusing blood to the individual, right? Then also, if there are some isolated deficiencies, like the person has thrombocytopenia, that's reduced levels of platelets. Okay, the person can also have congenital or acquired clotting factor deficiency. Okay, so that's when you're basically having a problem with one clotting factor, like von Willebrand disease. Okay, or it could be that hemophilia, right? So, as you need these closing factors, yeah, you can just opt in for blood transfusion, all right? But the gold standard right now is what you need, they concentrate what you need from blood and give just what you need to you, okay? Then also, if the person has hypoalbuminemia, that's reduced levels of what? Albumin. Which is the plasma protein you might just want to opt in for blood transfusion all right but i've also told you guys the gold standard now is okay for hyperalbuminemia so you need only albumin right then i'll now concentrate plasma or i could just concentrate albumin from plasma and give it to you all right so that's it about what indications for blood transfusion possible reasons why an individual might need blood transfusion